gonna be talking about the pilot episode of the new fall show, The Blacklist. You guys, I watched this one last night. It's one of the ones that, you know, was on my list to watch that I was excited about. The premise of the show is just kind of fantastic and is the thing that really drew me in. So you've got this guy, Raymond Reddington, who is on the FBI most wanted list, and he basically just walks right into the FBI and turns himself in. But as soon as they catch him, he has one stipulation. The only person he'll talk to is a low-level agent named Elizabeth Keene. Now, she just graduated from Quantico. It's her first day on the job, so we're not exactly sure why the high-profile criminal only wants to talk to her. Now, they are so scared of this guy before she comes. They have got him locked up like he's like Magneto from X-Men. I mean, like he was trapped in this kind of like glass-looking dome thing. It was just kind of funny. This show definitely has a Silence of the Lambs feel to it. Like, when she comes to see him finally, there's a chair just sitting there waiting, and you get their conversation conversation is very kind of psychological. Is he trying to manipulate her? What is he trying to do here? Because we get that he turned himself in for a reason. He didn't just do it because, hey, I'm feeling guilty. He did it, I think, because there's something deeper that he wants. Now, according to him, he's there to help the FBI you know, with the blacklist, which is a group of criminals that he's worked with or dealt with that the FBI doesn't even know exists. And of course, he'll only work with Elizabeth Keene. And so there's so many questions to try to figure out. Like, what is his end game? Why is he so interested in Elizabeth Keene? Like, as the episode goes on, we get that he's pretty much obsessed with her. He knows everything about her life and her past, things that she hasn't told anyone. We get that her husband is not who he says he is, which is a shame because he was kind of a cutie. Overall, the big thing I got from this show is that they might have given us lots of information in the pilot episode, but I feel like it's all very surfacey. Like we got lots of little hints and questions about things that are gonna turn out to be far more deep and intricate as we go along. Okay, so now it's time for the poppy verdict. Did we like the show or did we not like it? I liked it, I really did. It definitely wins a space on my DVR, so I will be watching it every single week. So what about you guys? I know so many of you watched it because you were talking about it on Twitter last night. Um, if you did watch it, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. Okay guys, don't forget to check out some of the other pilot episodes that I'm gonna be reviewing. I will be reviewing a lot this fall season. Also, make sure to check me out on Twitter at Watch With Poppy, or you can find me on Instagram at Ms. Poppy. Come find me, people. Also, don't forget to check out some of the other TV shows that I review. All you have to do is click on the title. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.